In this video, you will see the difference between a healthy immune cell in alkaline blood and an overworked immune cell in acidic blood. The pH levels are really important for the health of your blood. A slightly acidic environment in your body will give room for sickness to spread. It will stress the immune cells and lower the cell communication. On the left screen, you can see the healthy blood and immune cell. Notice how clean the blood looks and how evenly shaped the cells are. These red blood cells are able to transport oxygen around your whole body and take carbon dioxide with them back to the lungs for extraction. The immune system cell that you see in the middle is healthy and active. It has no damage and is eagerly searching the blood for trash and fungus. Healthy blood looks nice and keeps you healthy. At the right, you can see the unhealthy blood. The immune cell is carrying big white bags of fungus and is struggling to stay alive. It's overworked and stressed from cleaning up too much trash and fungus in the blood. It has done its job very well but is now dying prematurely because of the stress. This blood is not healthy and it will not be able to keep your body free from sickness. The cells will have a shorter lifespan and many of the cells will die and leave waste that will create even more issues. Alkaline blood is necessary for maintaining good cell communication. In my work, I see that the alkalinity and cell communication is extremely important to maintain a healthy functional body and blood. What we recommend for healthier blood and a healthy body is to eat as much organic fruits and vegetables as possible. Our best result is with the vegetarian or vegan diet. Drink lots of clean water, don't stress too much and be happy. Also, we personally drink a cell communication supplement every day. Follow the links in the video or contact us to learn more about cell communication, redox signals, and your blood health.